The diagram on the right shows a cross-section of a container which has a parabolic inner surface. So this is the parabolic inner surface and can be represented by the equation of y is equal to ax squared. And it asks us to find the mass of the rice that can be stored in the container if there is no gap in between the cover and the container. So if you can recall, the formula of density is basically just the mass divided by volume. So now, they ask us to find what is the mass and they're good enough to give us the density. So the volume is the one that we want to find because we can just find the mass by using density times volume. So how do we find the volume? Well, we know, we learn about integrations, we can find the volume that generated by this curve by using integrations. But the problem here is, they give us the equation that is incomplete. We have one unknown, which is A is the unknown. We know we can eliminate the unknown if we know at least one of the coordinate on the curve. So how do we find one coordinate? Since they don't give us any coordinate system here. If they don't give it to us, we can build our surf. But first, we need to know the basic of the quadratic equations. So we know if we have a quadratic curve, y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So basically, a will tell us that it's a smiley face or a sad face, right? a will tell us that it is a smiley or a sad face. Meanwhile, b will tell us that how the axis of symmetry is going to be shifting. Since this one have no bx here, the b is zero means that our axis of symmetry is eventually in the y-axis. So now we can build our axis. We know that the minimum point here is eventually at the y-axis. And C is controlling the y-shifting. Whether the minimum point is going to shift up or shift down. It means that the curve is going up or down. But this one has no C as well. So we know the minimum point is going to lie on the 0, 0 coordinate. Because there is no shifting of axis of symmetry, left or right, no shifting. And the y is also not shifting. The one that we're going to look at is just A. So this is our coordinate system we're going to build. So this is our general idea first. So we're going to build our coordinate system now. This is our x-axis and this is going to be our y-axis. And since there's no, no shifting, this is going to be our 0, 0. And now we can just relative from this point to look for the other coordinate. Since our height is 30, so we know here is going to be 30. And the parabolic curve, if this is the minimum point, and this is our axis of symmetry, right? And we know if this is a symmetry line, the left and right will be equal in size. So 60 divided by 2 is 30, 30. So this is going to be 30 from the axis of symmetry. And this is also going to be 30 from the y-axis. If this is 0, this is going to be negative 30 in the x-axis, right? So this is negative 30. So this is going to be 30 positive. So now we're going to know what is the coordinate for this part and this part, which is just essentially negative 30, 30 and 30, 30. So after we have all the points, now we are good to go to find what is our unknown a. y is to ax squared. We know we can just substitute either one of the point into the equations, then we can find our a. But we're not going to plug in our 0, 0 because why? If you plug in 0 here, our a will be disappear as well. So let's say if I substitute 30 into the equations, so 30 squared is 900. So 30 divided by 900, we will get back 1 over 30, like this. So why is it that we can choose either point? Because if now you plug in the negative 30 into the equations, negative 30 squared is also 900. Because square will turn whatever into the positive answers. So they make no difference. So we are very sure that our A is 1 over 30. So now we can complete our equation, which is, y is equal to 1 over 30 x squared. Our a is a positive. It makes sense because why? Now we have a 
smiley face. Like just now, we know density is equal to mass divided by volume. So now we are good to go to find our missing one, which is our volume. We can imagine that they are going to spin about the y-axis so that we have a container that we can put our rice into it, just like the Tupperware container. So we know they are spinning about the y-axis. We can say that the volume is going to be spin about the y-axis. And if you spin about the y-axis, the radius is eventually just the x value. This is why we have pi x squared, which is the area of a circles. So now we have the formula for the volumes. But what is our x squared? Since we are integrating with respect to y, we need to change our x to become y. Now we have y is equal to 1 over 30 x squared. But we want to find what is x squared. So 30 go to the left hand side, become 30y is equal to x squared. So now we have our x squared, we can substitute into our equation like this, which is 30y. So now we see we have the variable of y and we are integrating respect to y and we are good to go. So now we can integrate like usual 30, the power increased by 1 become 2 divided by 2. And don't forget we have the limit of 0 and 30. So we're going to substitute like this. And now we can just using the upper limit minus the lower limit. So upper limit is going to be 30, but y is beyond become 30. So 30 squared over 2 minus the lower limit is going to be 30, 0 squared over 2. Then after that, you're going to use calculators. You will have 13,500 minus 0. But don't forget we have a pi. So this is why we have 13,500 pi. Since this is a volume, we're going to have cm cubed. Because everything is by using cm. No longer unit because why? We already know the unit. We can just use the unit, which is the cm cubed for this case. So now we found our volume. Use the density times the volume in order to find our mass. So now we're going to have something like this. 1.182 is our density given in the questions. We have our volume. We're going to times it together. So we're going to have something like this. 1.182 gram per cm cube times 13,500 pi cm cube. Can you see that? Cm cube and cm cube can cut off. So after simplify the cm cube, we're going to assume our pi by using 3.142 because they don't tell us which one we're going to use. So we're going to times 1.182 times 13,500 and 3.142, we have the answer of 50,136.894 gram. Since they want us answer in kg, so we're going to convert this one to become kg by divided by 1,000. We move three times, we will have 50.136 kg and now they ask us that what is the mass of rice that we can store so we cannot round up so we're going to round down to have 50.13 because why because if more than that of course we cannot store into the container so this is why we have 50.13 kg and now we are done for question 14. so mr raza is very rich he want to build a swimming pool at his residence the swimming pool has a uniform depth of 1.2 meters it means that from the beginning until the end, the swimming pool is going to be 1.2 meter deep. And then they tell us that the rate of flow of water to fill up the pool is given by dv over dt is equal to 3t squared plus 14t. It means that the water that's going to fill up the pool, we're going to have a source of water first. We're going to pump the water in. But how fast the water going to flow in is by using these equations. dv over dt means that how much of the volume being pumped to in the pools per hour? Because they tell us that V is the water in meter cube and T is in hours. Then Mr. Razak is going to take five hours to fill up the water in the pool. So eventually they take five hours, they only can fill up the entire pools. Means it's quite big. So find the volume of the water inside the pool. So you need to find the volume First, we need to have the equation for volume. But do they tell us the equations? They don't. But at least they tell us that this is going to be the equation for the dv over dt. 
But we know if we have the equation of volume and we take the differentiation with respect to t, we will have dv over dt. We know integration is just the reverse of differentiations. So if we integrate the whatever the differentiations with respect to t, we will eventually get back our v. So now we're going to have the idea of taking the integration of the whatever they're given to us in the differentiation form. So we're going to substitute in whatever equation that they given to us. And now we have the variable of t integrate respect to t is good to go. So integrate the usuals, the power increased by 1 divided by the new power. Same thing for the next term, power of 2 divided by 2. But since this is the open integrals, so we're going to have no limit, but instead we have the constant of c. So how do we find the constant? Do you remember that? As long as we have one pair of coordinate, we are good to go to find c. So it means that we need to know the v and t relationship first. It means that in the beginning, we assume that the pool is empty. So we can say that when time is equal to zero, the volume inside the pool is also zero. So now we're going to substitute in. But before this, we're going to simplify first. 3 and 3 can cut off. 2 and 14 can simplify to become 7. So this is why we have v is equal to t cubed plus 7t squared plus c. Then only we can use our assumptions into the equations and plug it in. So we have 0 cubed plus 7 0 squared plus c is equal to 0. So this is why we have c is equal to 0. So now we have our complete equations where we substitute our c becomes 0. So now we have v equal to t cubed plus 7t squared. So after we have the equation for volume, then we can find our volume of the water inside the pool. Because why? They tell us that after 5 hours, they will fill up the entire swimming pools. Then now we can find our volume by substitute the t by 5. So we can say that v is equal to 5 cubed plus 7 5 square. Like this, then plug it into your calculators, we will have v is equal to 300 meter cubed. So now we know this swimming pool is going to have a volume of 300 meter cubed. Wow, it's very big. So now we're done for question A. We go for question B. They say that Mr. Razak want to paint the base of the pool with blue paint. The cost of the painting is 5 ringgit per meter square. If Mr. Razak allocate 1,000 for the cost of painting, can he paint the entire base of the pool? Give your reason. So they just want to paint the base of the pool. So it means that we need to find first what is the best area. So what is the best area here? But we know, since we are in PT3, volume is basically just the, the best area times the height. Since we know the volume is 300, and then we want to find the best area for the empty space times the height. Do you know the height? Yes, the height is eventually the depth of the swimming pools. Because the best area is here, and the height is going to here. So it's 1.2. So we can do something like the normal algebra, where we say that volume is equal to the best area times height. You want to find the best area, 300 divided by 1 over 2. So we can find that best area is going to be 250 meters square. So how to find the cost? We know the cost is just going to be the price per unit times unit. Like how many units that we're going to have. And we know the price per unit is going to be 5 ringgit per meter square. And we have 250 meters square of area going to paint. So we're going to use 5 times 250, which is going to be 1,250. If you don't understand this part, you can do the proportion method, where we say that this is the price and this is the size. Since they tell us that we're going to have 5 ringgit for every 1 meter square. Now we're going to pen 350 meter square. And what is the price? 
When we have friends, we spend time together with times. No friend we divide. So 5 times 250 divided by 1, which is going to be 1,250. Same as the answer here. So is it enough money? So no. Mr. Razak has not enough money to pen the pool because Mr. Razak will still need to have additional 250 ringgit to pen it. And we are done for this questions. Hey, if you have any questions or would like to see any kind of video, do leave your comments below and let me know. If you want to support us so that we could make more videos like this, the simplest way is just by sharing the video with your friends. Click the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.